stay on, but. All right. So you saw what it was doing. It won't stay on, but it just doesn't like when bumped or whatever. And you said, this is what they're telling you, this control box? HCU. What's it called? HCU? Uh, hydraulic control unit. Hydraulic control unit. All right. And so this thing here was 500 bucks, you said? Uh, four, like 480. And the dealers wanted $800 on top of it to do it? If they do that one and the, the electric portion of it, it, that's how much they wanted. All right, so let's get this thing taken apart. All right, so this is where we've gotten so far. We pulled the wheel off, brake caliber, along with the rotor, everything to get it out of the way to check the ABS because was you run, running from the cops when you got ran off the road or just <laughs> no no he no. got ran off the road and it dumbass truck driver they screwed up some shit and he had to have his shock melt remote uh rewelded but he took all this hair out we inspected the wire we checked all the other ABS wires they're all good so now we're on to removing the fender well Uh, the part we're after is right there. It's going to be that block. And what is the thing called again? The hydraulic control unit. So we got the cover off. This is the type of screw. So this is the plug for the unit. Yes, On the lugs. That's a big ass plug. And then there's two more of these bolts here in the back. One more. One more. So the bolts here he took out of the front that actually go inside here. There's one more in the back. Three total of those, three total in the plastic. Goes in like this. You said you saw six lines. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Luckily, I don't have the line wrenches. It's a 12 millimeter wrench. And they were pretty loose, so we didn't have to worry about jacking them up. And there's a total of six lines up on top of this. Like creating a where you can't drain. There, there it goes. Vacuum. Yeah. Yeah, they were leaking. See, on the bottom. And we have a nice catch pan. Catch the brake fluid. All right. There's that one. So we just gotta take this off. So torques. Okay, so you have to take that off and bolt it onto the other one? Right. So okay. we can move back in the garage. So we used a small torque and we're just using the, the crescent wrench. Because you really don't want to be using tool air tools or electric tools on that, do you? you start breaking the plastic and not it, waterproof it. It will screw it up. I need to save that piece, guys. Not five hundred bucks. Come on, 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 come all that comes with it. Just pull this one right on. And what to do? So now we can go through and line these all up. So, oh, the brake lines are put back on. Oh, six of them. You have the two bolts in the front and one in the rear. And one in the rear. It's always hard to get in the rear. My fucking legs are asleep. <laughs> Push in, the rear lever over, locks it in. That's what you said. Yep. Okay, so it's all put back together. Now it's time to uh, bleed the brakes.
cover back on? Cover. Shake. Right. Well, it's all back on. We're getting ready to take it for a test drive and hopefully it fixed what was wrong with it. It wasn't too bad, a little bit of brake bleeding, but. So we took it for a nice drive. We are back on the same bumpy ass road that we did when it kept going off. Come on, make it bounce, Will. <laughs> well, I guess it worked, didn't it? It's not, not setting it off. Because last time you seen how much it was going off, and it's amazing what $500 to do. It's crazy. And they wanted $800 to install it? If it was for the electrical portion and the hydraulic block. Because because they'd have to get into the computer and calibrate it. Have you heard that? I think that was a tire rub, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I tried not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took care of that type deal, whatever. It wasn't too bad. Hardest part. There's no hard part. It really wasn't. It was pretty damn simple. Anybody could do that one. Yeah. And uh, we didn't show bleeding the brakes because if you're doing this, you probably already know how. Um, Don't do this unless you know how to bleed the brakes. Let's go. That That's how we yeah. should go with that. <laughs> If you've, never, and, uh, if you've never bled the brakes on anything, you probably shouldn't be touching the hydraulic control unit. And you can always have a buddy to help you because you're not going to pump them yourself unless you got one of those other deals where they push the brake fluid up. Other than that, there was another one. A uh, uh, moment of silence for those who can't talk. Yeah, it was just an awkward moment, wasn't it? <laughs> right, right. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and hopefully maybe this will help you out. Uh, yeah, see you.